All right. So what's on this last page of the script, then? Well, that's what you have to deduce. I've helped you enough already, detectives. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot. We're playing a game, yeah. So if I arrest you right now or tell any of my colleagues about this, that's breaking the rules, isn't it? Correct. And this uh, victim, whoever it is, is going to die within the next hour? Correct. Unless I figure out what's on the last page of that script. It's all clear now, is it? What if I beat it out of you? Is that breaking the rules? I anticipated you'd do that. Page 81. Near the bottom. Wilson slams him down on the desk, punches him repeatedly, and shouts, Is my wife in danger? What, what have you done with my wife? It mentions my wife in here. Why does it mention my wife in here? Well, it wouldn't be much of a game without high stakes. I'm afraid poor Julie was essential to the plot. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, in that case, why break from the plot? Why does it mention my wife? What have you done with my wife? You better stop talking. I'm going to beat you to death. I swear to God. Why? Who's working with you? What have they done to my wife? Come here. Is my wife in danger? What have you done with my wife? You're running out of time. We all make ourselves who we are. Nothing else. I'm who I am because I made myself that way. Just like your mom made herself that way. As much as you hate me, son, it's no half as much as I hate myself. <coughs> it wasn't it true, was it? What you say to me? I did love her once, you know, son. Long time ago. But she couldn't stop her in her cell. She loved it. Broke your father's heart, the stuff she got up to. You know, your father might have had cancer, but that's not what killed him. No, really. And when I promised him that I'd look after her, he knew. You what? <coughs> but me and your mom. You and my mom? Well, oh, <laughs> he may have forgiven me, but I never forgave myself. He went to his grave knowing about us two, what we did together. Uh, you and my mom? Well... Hello, Bruce. Yeah. Hi, look, yeah, just, just, um, yeah, keep them occupied and I'll, um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, um, yeah, I'll be there in, uh, I'll be there in 20. Yeah, um, uh, second thoughts, actually, um, better make that an hour, actually. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, um, right. Uh, do you want me to go into the bedroom? No, here's fine. Drink your tea. You'll like it. <sighs> Why now? Why have you never seen this thing before? What does it mean? I have no idea. I don't know. Maybe it's because I cheated on you. What? I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's because I cheated on you. Maybe that's what this thing does. It, Eric, It punishes listen. people. I don't know. Honestly, maybe that's what it does. It punishes people. I don't... What am I... Where else would it come from? I don't know. What do you mean? It, it probably punished me because it knows what I did and what I did was wrong and... Look, you know that you know that I'm sorry for what I did, don't you? You know that I'd never do anything like that again. You know it was just a one-off. You know I love you, don't you? You know I'm sorry. Eric, listen. No, I mean you. Just it's listen, all right? I know you're sorry. I know you'd never do anything like that again. I didn't mean what I said earlier. I was just a bit hurt. I think you feel guilty about what happened. 
you feel guilty about what happened and you're punishing yourself and that's why you've conjured up this shadow man guy. No, 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 I didn't conjure him up. It was real, honestly, Clay. It was real. It, it no, happened. No, it wasn't. It was just a dream. <sighs> Eric, look at me. Just look at me. It was just a dream. A bad one, yeah. But it was just a dream. You don't believe in all that ghost and ghoulies crap, do you? <sighs> Come on, do you? I suppose not. What I love most about poker is the same thing that I love about Columbo. You ever watch Columbo, Bobby? Columbo? What? I don't remember. Oh, it's the greatest fucking show ever made. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen just about them all. You know, there was this guy once, real crazy son of a bitch. I meet him all the goddamn time, I'll tell you. What was that fucker's name again? Doesn't matter. Anyway, he was obsessed with Columbo, right? And he said, the big secret of the show, the real reason that Columbo always knew who the killer was, was because Columbo was psychic. I mean, can you believe that? Psychic. Yeah? And he says, that's the way Columbo always knew who the killer was. And he says that there's this one episode that proves Columbo was psychic. Death lends a hand. That's what it was called. Death lends a hand. And in this episode, Columbo reads a guy's palm. And that's supposed to prove that Columbo was psychic, according to this nutcase, right? He says, uh, Columbo don't need to do no investigating or no shit like that. He's got psychic powers. He gets them from his fucked up eye. I <laughs> can you believe this fucking guy? And he says, you know, Columbo's psychic, right? Bullshit. Columbo ain't psychic. He don't read minds. He just reads people. That's what he does. He reads people. And that's what I love about Columbo, Bobby. And it's also what I love about poker, you see? Poker is a game about reading people. And the better you can read people, Bobby, the better you are at the game. You see, you can read people, Bobby. Although you don't have to be Columbo to read the douchebag like O'Donnell. I mean, that shit for brains make bastard daughter been wearing a fucking sign. But as good at reading people as you are, Bobby, I got an advantage. Because unlike Columbo, Bobby, I am psychic.